TypeScript 4.4 is out and in this first quick lesson in the series, we will look at the improvements it brings to control flow analysis. So let's go. Here's a quick recap on what we mean by control flow analysis. This function foo takes an argument of an unknown type and if we add a type card that arg must be of type string, the control flow knows that within the if block, arg must be of type string. This allows us to access string methods, for example, to uppercase. However, before TypeScript 4.4, if you move this condition into a local variable, for example, by using VX code to extract it into a constant called is arg string, TypeScript loses the fact that the meaning of this condition being true implies that arg must be of type string and therefore no longer allows us to access the method to uppercase and gives us a compile time error. Now, if you have TypeScript 4.4 installed within your project, you can actually use the VS Code TypeScript selector to select that. And now that we are using TypeScript 4.4.2, you can see that TypeScript understands that the fact that this condition is true implies that the argument must be of type string and the error goes away. Now, in addition to basic variables, it also works with members of discriminated unions. So let's take a look at another example. We make a discriminated union called shape that is discriminated by the member kind, which can either be a circle or a square. With TypeScript 4.4, even if we store that if the kind is of type circle into a local variable and make a conditional block based on this local variable, TypeScript understands that because this variable is true, that implies shape.kind is of type circle and therefore shape will be of type circle when control flows into the if block. And this continues to work even if we were to dissociate kind from the shape variable. So if we say that kind must be of type circle, then TypeScript knows that shape.kind must be of type circle and therefore it knows that shape must be a circle. This transitive property even works when you combine multiple conditions. So let's take a look at another example. Here we have a function where the argument can either be a string or a number or a boolean and we store the fact that it might be a string in is string and it might be a number in is number and then we combine the two in is string or number by using the or operator. Now if we use this variable in a conditional block TypeScript sorts it out correctly with the first block getting string or number and the second block only getting the type boolean. Now one final thing worth mentioning is that this hop through constants does not work arbitrarily deep. So let's take a look at another example to figure out how deep does it actually go. So we have this function where the argument might be a string or a number and within the function body we transition the condition that x is of type string into a local variable so we can use that in a conditional block to determine if TypeScript correctly understood that x must be a string. And of course that works without an error, but we can start getting a bit more deep by assigning 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, so on. And I suspect that the answer is going to be somewhere around 7, so that's where I stop. And now instead of testing 1, we test variables like 2, 3, 4, 5, and it continues to work without an error till 5 anymore. And we get a compile time error that x might be a string or a number because TypeScript has lost the fact that this condition implies transitively through the chain that x must be of type string. And if you're like me and wondering if anybody asked for this feature, yeah, lots of people did. Now this feature also shows where TypeScript is trending as a programming language and over time I would like to see more stuff like this where TypeScript becomes more and more easier instead of adding more and more features. If you are new to TypeScript, then something like this is something that you would think of intuitively and you don't have to learn about the fact that it works transitively now. However, if you've used TypeScript for a while, you might want to go ahead and refactor your code at this point to remove some of the hacks that you might have in place because transitive control flow analysis like this did not exist previously. If you enjoyed this lesson, smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.